Welcome back to a Daily Planet special presentation, Rock and Roll Science. Here again is the Tea Party. I can cover the room, but the people that are sitting in front of, of that guitar rig, that's all they're going to hear because he wants it so loud on stage. It's my job to deal with it. You can't tell him to turn down because that's the way he plays. Everything's mic'd. The orchestra now is mic'd, so they're part of the rock and roll world. They're amplified this time. So I have to be aware with my in ears, uh, monitors, with uh, the board. Uh, and the monitoring board uh, in front, be aware of what is the outcome dynamic, because it's not the same. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's, it's mic this time. It's not just analog, you know. It's it goes through uh, an electrical process, and now I have to, I have to adjust things, you know. Sometimes it's too brassy for, for for bones or whatever, and I correct as I go along. So I'm sort of mixing a little bit at the same time my own orchestration. front mixing for the audience but what about the band what did they hear well that's down to this guy here John he mixes what goes in their earpieces and what comes out their monitors and each band member hears something completely different I've got the drums up on top of the totem pole and then we've got the guitar and vocals and then bass guitar comes there and then the keyboard <laughs> that isn't in your monitor and the other one's open. So, and it sounds weird, but you just balance it off with your volume so that you hear sort of a stereo mix. But it enables me to place more things in here that are direct, like uh, my bass can go in there. So some stuff I really need to hear, whereas this can be a more ambient thing where I can get a mood for the room and all that. And if anyone insults me, I can get right out there and take care of them, so, yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that as soon as he started the in-ears that he is based guitar and my kick drum were a lot tighter together, just because he's hearing things directly. I've heard it so many times, and I, I know, you know, you got your strings going about here, and you got your trumpets and stuff going about here, you know, you see, you get, you get kind of a picture. It's like a picture, you know, and you're putting the color in there. Christine Williams again. Um, where do you see this outfit now? Come on, come on, don't be shy. Come on. Are you ready, my dear?
uses open tunings, which is you have a standard tuning guitar, E, A, D, G, B, E, so you can play certain chords in first position. But if you, you can change the tuning guitar to anything you want, so it's open chords ringing out. And that's what I do all night long, is I tune these guitars between different tunings for each song. But you say life is bittersweet You've tried so gracefully But it's faceless company Has let you down again Say Human voice, despite how incredibly rich a violin can be, a cello can be, or an electric guitar for that matter in terms of communicating emotion, the human voice can communicate emotion at a deeper, more primordial level. One of the key elements at any concert hall is reverberation time, the time it takes a single sound like this to die away. Most halls, it's about a second and a half to two seconds, but in something like a cathedral, it can be as much as 13 seconds. In this hall, one second. I have a computer program that I use to uh, basically uh, point out the, the frequencies, like sometimes I'll hear something, maybe an overtone, and, and, it, and it's just on the verge of feedback, or it's just too boomy or something. Well, I can tell what, what the frequency is, and then I can actually zero in on the instrument that's making that overtone, and then I can adjust in that, in that manner. Don't go away. We'll have more science, more technology, and more music when we come back.